Hey everybody, my name is Ivica, thank you so much for being on my latest Unreal Engine beginner tutorial video that will show you how you can quickly and easily set different values for your player movement speed inside of the game that you're building or otherwise in the moment when you start playing and the game begins. Now of course player speed is essential for so many action or platformer games. It's for essential for basically any game where you have a character that moves around, but for some games like action games, shooter games, it's pretty, pretty important. To do that, of course, you can easily change the same speed in your player character. I'm right now in the first person character template. And to do that, to change the speed, I simply need to select the first person character and under details, search for speed. And here's my maximum walking speed, maximum walk speed crunch, crouched and other things. So I can this, change this quickly and effectively. However, the same speed will be changed in my entire level. So whatever I do, wherever I do it, my walking speed will be the same. But what, for example, if I want to have different values of walking speed in my level, which I can change inside of the game. Well, to do that, you need to open up the level blueprint so go for edit first person character and first thing we need to do is find a node that's called character movement get character movement here is the controller of the character movement and from here we're going to select a node that's called maximum walking speed so set maximum walking speed and we can set it to, let's say 3000. So it's five times faster than my baseline value. Of course, I want to trigger this in the game. So I'm going to add a node for the value one under keyboard events. When I press the num, numpad one keypad, I will activate the same change. So let's compile and save it to see it in action. Here it is. Here is my level, I'm walking normally, but when I press the number one key, I begin to zip around and move a lot faster. That's all and well, but let's say that I'm building a, for example, parkour based game, where I want to alternate between normal running and super fast, crazy, maxed out running. To do that, I'm just going to add, I'm going to first of all, copy this node, these two nodes, I'm going to copy and paste them, here it is. And I'm going to break this connection by holding on the Alt key and clicking on this. And I'm going to add a really useful node that you probably know about, which is flip-flop. Flip-flop does nothing more than alternate between A, B, A, B whenever an action is completed, in this case a pressed key. So whenever I pressed one, it goes to A, when I press it second time, it goes to B, third time A, and so forth. The A is going to be turning on the really, really fast walking speed. B is going to be turn it off by setting this value to, again, 600, which is the baseline value at the start of the game. Now, of course, I can set this to anything I want and this as well, but in any case, one will alternate between these two. So let's try it out in the game. I'm here, I'm walking. Now I press one and I'm flying around. I press one, I'm slow once again. Press one, flying around, press one, I'm walking around slowly. So there you have it. It's a really simple setup but one that can be useful in a range of situation. For example, a similar setup will be used and I'm planning to do that for my next Unreal and tutorial video to get the dash effect. You know, the process of dashing in different games, no matter if it's first person, third person, where you kind of close short distances incredibly fast and during really short periods of time. That uses basically the same setup with some differences that I'm going to present in my next video, of course. However, this is it. Through this setup, mainly the player character movement, this node, you can get all of this and use it in your level. 
that's it for this tutorial hopefully you found it useful hopefully you found it like something you can apply in your process of building creating games thank you so much for watching there is a bunch of ways you can support me i have my patreon page if you leave a buck or two per month that would be a huge thing for me and thanks in advance but you can also send me crypto you can pay me through paypal you can buy my books on Amazon. There is a bunch of stuff you can do to basically make me a little tiny, tiny, tiny bit richer than I am now. However, if you don't want to or can't do any of that, which I completely understand, simply subscribing, leaving a like would be more, more than enough for me. And thanks for all of that. But most importantly, thanks for sticking until the very end. You rock. Hopefully you find this useful and applicable in your process of learning Unreal Engine. And thanks so much for being here. My name is Ivica. We'll see each other in precisely seven days from now on my new video. And until then, have loads of fun in your Unreal Engine levels. Bye bye.